So we've got another fruit makes you fat. Just dripping fat, fat, fat striations in the chest. More bullshit, more bullshit. What was the comment I read? You just gotta laugh and say, do you know how do you, how do you, how do you stay? What's that? It's freely in the background there. Why? <laughs> Chelsea, your lean arm, your fat arm, form of fructose. It's, it's a chopstick. That's it. Got, chopstick arm. Look at our. <laughs> our fucking fructose makes you fucking fat. Fruit makes you fat. There was how do you how do you keep uh, keep fun in a lot of all these craziness these situations out there doing right? It's the same. You're just gonna be carved up, hydrated, well slept. I notice that when if I'm not getting enough sleep or the sugar, yeah, you definitely find it a bit more challenging. But you can't see the fun in it, you know. It's just like a hill. I love riding bike up hills, but. If I hadn't had enough sleep with sugar, the hill gets harder and less enjoyable than it would otherwise. So we've got a comment here. I think you should respond to Dr. Brian Clements. First of all, he's not a fucking doctor. He got that from a paper mill. So I call him Brian Clements because he's not a real doctor. Um, if he was a real doctor, he wouldn't be charged <laughs> recently in Florida for practicing without, medicine, uh, practicing without a license, claiming to be a doctor. But he's not a doctor. He's a pseudo-doctor. Uh, got his doctor thing from a paper mill. Uh, Brian Clement's latest video that fruit does indeed make you fat. Well, I just shown it. I showed most abs. Where the fuck is Brian Clement's abs? Why not? Because he wears a suit because he's a little fat suit. And that's fine. Being fat doesn't make you a bad person. My mum's clinically obese. Doesn't make her a bad person. But if you want to say fruit makes you fat, and you've got people like Duran and Freely and all lean bean fruit fucking lovers out there saying otherwise, then, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a bit, <laughs> it's, just, it's like driving a fucking Lamborghini and saying, if you drive your car really fast, you burn more calories, and you're overweight, and you send it to a cyclist who's fucking lean. Fruit makes you fat. Another one, you age faster with all the sugar. Well, I agree with that one, because what happens when you eat a high sugar diet, you'll lose all this body fat, and body fat is what fills your face out. It fills the wrinkles out, right? So if you do like injection, dermal injections in your face with Botox, Botox, it sort of fills it out, bubbles out all the wrinkles. So that's why... Botox and Brotox is so popular in Hollywood because people get lean from all the cocaine and starvation or whatever, or sometimes high sugar diets if they're doing it right. And the wrinkles start to show. So when you lose body fat, you will look older. That's why anorexics look older than their age because they're so fucking lean, too lean. Unhealthy levels of leanness. So you want to be slim, you want to be like a greyhound. Not a fat greyhound, not a starved, emaciated greyhound, but a lean greyhound, all right? Just Google up pictures of greyhounds. And you can sort of, you know, as a metaphor for how humans should be. So uh, someone said, you're misleading people with all your ignorance, whatever. Your vegan message in cycling lifestyle is still powerful. Thank you. Just choose different foods. What can we eat? Let's eat avocados and fucking lose all our performance and health. <laughs> 30 avocados a day. Like, fucking, what's that other pseudo quack doc? Uh, Dr. Philip, uh, well, no, well, hang on, what's his name? You know, that little quack pH miracle guy? Yeah, I forget his name. But again... <laughs> The PH Miracle dude, another fucking doctor bought his thing from a paper mill. Crazy stuff. But uh, there you go. So just quack doctors overweight or out of shape. Tell us how it is.